Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Have you seen the new ads from Walmart? They feature happy Walmart workers talking about all the wonderful opportunities available at the store and uh, how wonderful it is to work there. Uh, of course, none of those people actually work for Walmart. They're actors. They get uh, after scale, which is a lot more than Walmart workers get. Now it's true that a person can start at the bottom and work his way up through the ranks. That's true in any business. But this is true only for a very small amount of employees. The vast majority aren't going anywhere. It's safe to say that low paying jobs don't generally lead to high paying jobs. As a matter of fact, Across the country, states spend about $164 billion in assistance to Walmart workers. Meanwhile, Mike Duke, Walmart CEO, makes $23.2 million a year. Walmart's business practices have been thrust into the spotlight by the protests and strikes that their workers are staging all across the country. I mean, Walmart not only pays its employees poorly, but it also engages in what is called wage theft. That's refusal to pay people overtime, refusal to, to honor the minimum wage, and illegal paycheck deductions. And rather than pay their employees properly, Walmart is now spending millions of dollars in an ad campaign designed to enhance its image. And by the way, they could have used that money, those millions of dollars, to give their workers a little wage and everybody would have been better off and Walmart's image would have come out a little better. See, those great savings that you get at Walmart, they're not the whole story. Your tax dollars are being used to assist Walmart's workers. So that amounts to an indirect subsidy of Walmart. So even if you don't shop at Walmart, they're in your pocket. Obviously, Walmart has no intention of giving its employees a fair wage. They'd rather spend their money on PR stunts. The only way to do that is by raising the minimum wage to something that people can actually live on. Thanks for listening.